coast. Oh, bit of a bumpy ride. Now we're waiting for a shuttle to get to a car. Top tip. Get a car room. rental that's on site. And get data or make sure uh, your SIM card works. Yeah, because we couldn't call we them. Couldn't so call we had to call them. them for collection, so we had to go find a pay phone. And, uh... It's been a nightmare. This bag's been a nightmare. Not too long. We've made our way to a very busy Rabina Mall. And it's a Saturday lunch time. And this place is absolutely massive. We've only just sort of got here and gone straight to the food hall, but it is huge, there's multiple levels, there's lots of options. Lots of sort of Asian food options, Vietnamese, bao buns, dumplings. Yeah, and it's so busy. We've searched high and low for a seat and had to go for one that was riddled with a bit of um Jam. Jam or yeah, some sort of something on the table there. There it is. So we're just waiting, we've got our little buzzer and we're waiting for our food. So we went for a chicken curry and roti and a crispy chicken bao bun and two Ribena lemons, which sounds nice. There's nothing really like Hungry Jacks or McDonald's. Or not here. Not, well, not that we've seen, like whether it's somewhere else in the mall or whether they just don't have it and they're outside, I'm not sure. But they're all quite here, yeah, like fancy, sort of, you know, there's patisseries and poppies chocolates and, you know, it's like all. Mm, Quite fancy stuff, but it's very nice. The mall's done very well. Oh, jeez, here it comes. The concentration of bringing it over. You did it. It's slipping out of my hand. Oh, God. Oh, it looks nice. Mm. So we've got it, huh? Ribena, <laughs> lemons, the chicken curry and roti, and the bao bun. It looks very nice. <laughs> Sharp. Here's my crispy chicken bao bun. I haven't had a bite of it yet, but James had some of his oh, roti. Oh, the chicken. Oh, no. I think we've another... we've done the spice. We've got another spicy situation. He said the roti's really nice. Really good. And the curry's good, but just a bit spicy. Mm, heaps of flavour. Mm. Very coconutty. My oh my, mouth there's is on fire. Some, okay. There's something, there's like a crispy popper dome in the middle. How's that? Mm. Yeah, it's What's nice. What's in there? It's like lettuce, there's this crispy popper dome, crispy chicken. No, it's not cheese, it's like a yeah. sauce. And soy sauce. Nice. Right, cool. During our wonders, we have seen that there is a whole other food court as well with more of your stock standards, your Mackey D's. Sushis, Alibaba, Subways, kebabs, all of that jazz. So there is this as well. This mall is absolutely massive. After a bit of a kerfuffle because I can't get into my emails for some reason, we've got to our Airbnb in Paradise Island Resort. So it was a really good price actually. So it's, I can't remember how much it was a night, maybe 100 and something or maybe 200 dollars a night, but it was, it was cheap. So it's got a bed. I mean, it doesn't look the comfiest, but it looks like it'd be all right. Bathroom. And then it's just got a little lounge section there. And then a little freaking things. Yes, yeah, so there's fobs to get into the so it's got free parking here as well, which is great because a lot of places included parking. And we just met the owner of the Airbnb and she's invited us out to there's a pool party on this afternoon tonight with DJs and all sorts. So here's the balcony sort of a little balcony. Out. And then there's the river and it leads out onto the pool. And they've got a barbecue going on down there with the DJ and I think the DJ's come. Oh no, the DJ's there. He's bopping under. He's bopping away down there. Getting it all jamming. Yeah, the pool looks really nice and it looks and we've been invited to the pool party. You want a pool party? <laughs> yeah, no, it looks nice. It sort of looks seem very secure and it seems like a pretty good location also there's like three helicopters going off overhead but yeah perfect so we didn't know it but it is the Gold Coast 500 supercars going on in surfers whilst we're here so it's in there it's part of the track it's a shame that, that it's all black yeah you can see. so you can't <laughs> see as you drive along that maybe that's the point yeah, yeah you can see the stands it's got some more of the stands and they pop all of us up for especially for the events, that's pretty cool. 
I think it's quite a big trek. It goes sort of down into past surfers and into main beach and things. Beach. Yeah. The race is tomorrow. Yeah, the main race is tomorrow, so. We're in Harbour Town Outlets. So it's about a 20 odd minute drive from Surface Paradise. It's a nice outside outlet mall. It's really busy. It's really busy, but it's it is a Saturday afternoon, yeah. About quarter to four. So yeah, we thought it was going to be open late, but no, it's at 5.30, so we've come down just for a couple hours this afternoon to have a look around, because we want to sort of check out the outlets before we go shopping anywhere else, just in case, you know, we can pick up some bargains first. But yeah, no, it looks nice. It looks like it's got, you know, all your normal sort of brands. So we'll have a look around and see if we can get some goodies. We like a sale. Bright. Yeah, it's bright, yeah. <laughs> We've got Harbour Town Eats, some restaurants, some little snack things like Donut King, Subway, Nonna's Italian, yeah. Some cute places. And now we've got to head into Tommy figures. I need a new bag, so we'll see what we can find there. Let's go look at Calvin Klein. There's a cake stall as well back there, so we'll have a look. Gotta love Bath and Body Works. It always smells so good in here. Let's go find some new candles and smellies for home. Maybe some more hand sanitizer. Just went to Calvin Klein. Yes. On this busy night in the surface, we've come to La Pochetta. The original Italian we wanted to go to um, couldn't get us in for like another hour, so we came to this one and we had a side of fries which we demolished. And now I've just got the was it the original pancetta pizza, which has got pork sausage and some other different pieces. It's nice. It's all right. And Jane had a beard, a beard, a beer, and I had a left, but we were so thirsty. I've already scoffed my first one, which is unheard of. Yeah, it's just the streets, uh, as soon as I've said that, there's not really anyone around, but the streets have been jam-packed with people. You were just saying you've never seen it this busy, eh? Yeah, I think it's, um... Like, the supercar, supercar, um, logos and brands and all of that, so yeah, I think it's a lot of that crowd out and about after the races today. But yeah, it's um, a pretty busy night. busy. Things just, you know, full of the, it is 7.30 in the morning and it's full of people, you know, all the regulars, locals coming down to the beach because it's a lovely day. Working out, going for a swim, somebody thing, getting some morning coffee and breakfast and then there's markets on down here as well. And it's lovely. It's just saying this could be the sort of place that I would like to live. It's a little further out, a little that beachy sort of town feel, but then it's really close to some of those surfers back there. Really close to everything. Looks like it's going to be a very nice day, so we're just going to try to find the markets. We had to park quite far away. It took us about 20 minutes to find a park. I'm not sure where we even parked was legal, but it's what we found, so it's what we took. <laughs> I've made the mistake of not wearing sunglasses mm. and my eyes are burning. So the plan today is to go to Movie World for this morning and then we might come back out sort of this way um, so we'll go to a surf club, maybe the mini putt, we'll find out. Let's find these markets. We made our way to the market, lots of cool sort of boutique -y little Hats, clothes, dog items, jewellery, beauty stuff, food, 
It's like a really cute market. It's obviously very busy because, like I said, the parking was insane. And it's still all before 8 o'clock in the morning, so everyone's up, out, and early. Because when the weather's this good, you just get up. We've got a slowly cooked, 10 hour cooked, marinated lamb bamboo cone. So it's got onion, lamb, mustard, that's caramelized onion, garlic bread, lamb, vegetables. And I don't really know how you eat it. No, it looks pretty hot to I eat. I think it was better in the summer too. <clears throat> it looks delicious. We're just sitting on the sandwich. Out of the sun. This is really hot. It's like 8am. And the beach is just down. Those steps there. Oh no. Okay, you're gonna How have to do we eat that? You scoop rather than stab. Any good? early to eat lamb. It's like 8.30 in the morning still, but that's okay. Here he is. <laughs> we got a smile. So we're just about to head off to Movie World. And we're hoping it won't be quite as busy as it was down here, but I'm not sure how lucky we're going to be with that. Come to Movie World on the Gold Coast. It's Superman. DC Rivals home the coaster over there. It's Sunday, so we'll see. I'm not sure how busy it's going to be, but we'll find out. Batman slingshot. Walking through movie world. Down this way is sort of Wild West and Scooby Doo. That's where we're going to go now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got this new Scooby Doo 4D film that's on here as well. Although, a tip they've said that there's no Wi Fi here, so everything's on the app, so there's like wait times. I think you get like one free fast pass as well. Yeah. And there's no Wi Fi, so you no need data. Yeah. And we don't have data. So, again, another top tip get a SIM card with data. And activate it properly, which we need to try and do. There's also a um, really cool car show, show. Yeah. 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 Scooby Doo, yeah. the last day before it closes. Yeah, so it the closes maintenance. tomorrow for refurbishment, so that's why we <clears throat> had to risk coming on the Sunday. Yeah, we wanted to come tomorrow, but. We thought it might be a little less busy. Ooh. But look at the line. Ooh. That is long. It'd be nice to know what the wait time is. Yes, it would be. Oh well, look, don't wait, it tells you there. Oh yeah, it tells you right there. Minutes. So we've just found out that some of the park doesn't open to 10 and all rides don't open to 10 o'clock either so although the park opens at 9 30 you're kind of just getting there to stand in a line anyway until the rides open at 10 o'clock so a bit of a strange system but okay just so so if you're planning on coming just know that that even though the park opens at 9 30 the rides don't open till 10. Thank you. 
Good. We just got off Scooby Doo, but I've got how much it throws you around. You go around yeah, there's like backwards fall. drops, you go around the edge, it's quite quick. It's good actually. So we had to wait the 15 minutes for the ride to open, and then it took us 25 minutes to get through the actual queue oh, as well. No, we'll have a look when we're on our way back as to how long the wait time was. But so yeah, we ended up waiting t officially 25 minutes, but more like 45 minutes, like 50. Forever. Yeah, it did feel like a long time. But the ride was good, so I'm glad we got to do that definitely because it is closing after today. So even if we came back, we couldn't do that one again. But it is my favorite ride here. So that was good. Um, we are now going to the Wild West, which is the Log Flume. Probably my second favorite ride. Oh, and I do like Green Lantern too. So the only rides that are closed today is Justice League, which is like the shooting um, cart game. But other than that, everything else is open. There is this ride, which is a big no from us. We basically you sit in these. What is it? I don't even know what they call this. Is it Legion of Doom? Is that it? I'm not actually sure. But you basically go in these little things here and it spins you right around. And you well, just go. It stops at the top of the upside down. Yeah. Not for us, I don't think. So I guess it gets higher and higher each time. minutes for this one. So it says it's 30. We will see how long it takes, but it's this log flume here, which will actually be really nice because it is boiling. Here they go. Yeah, okay, but good one. That's great. Yep, right in front of it. <laughs> So I've just come off the Wild West Falls and we got pretty wet. It's so top so, maybe in the face, but it's such a good one. Okay, they come. See. It's pretty cool, eh? You get pretty wet there. Yeah, you do. It's quite cool. You go round and around and yes, you, you, go, go around. you go backwards. But you we go, go inside, through like some caves. You go backwards on like a little roller coaster bit, then you go through sort of like a wild west. Yeah. Guys is exploding and it's really refreshing. It's really good, I'd feel a lot better. Yeah, so now we're just gonna have a walk around. See what the, see what the other times are, or see what time the Scooby Doo 4D show oh, yeah. is. But we actually waited 10 minutes for this instead of half an hour, but we ended up waiting 10 minutes yeah, to do really that. Good. Good. Probably go on it straight again, straight away. But I would like to. We'll have a look at the timers for the 4D, 4D thing. In here, we were about to do it, but it's a 30 minute wait, and the queue's really not that long. But it seems to take there's only one train that goes around the track, and, measure seems, the height of the and yeah, and there's all the kids that need measuring. So it looks like it, although the line's not very long, five minutes, no, nothing's happened. So I think, 
yeah, it's on. Oh, there goes Daffy. Oh, and Bugs and Tweety and Sylvester all over there. Oh, and that low level honey. Do you? Oh, God, all the stuffy up there. up the sort of main path and to the right down here back to the main area again first aid if you're clumsy so that might be us for the day we just watched the Scooby-Doo 4D show went to the Batman exhibition all the queues seem to be about 45 to an hour plus we're only planning to sort of have half a day here so that might be it hot so how did you like Movie World today? It was good. So we spent about four and a half hours there. We were playing just for the buffet. Um, it was good. Yeah, it was good we got there early, I think, to yeah. get the Scooby-Doo. The one thing I didn't want to do was Green Lantern. Yeah, it was closed. It doesn't say that it's closed. No, it just has a... It oh, it does a now, it does. Yeah, there's a board down there. So we have a board and, here. Well, we were the first camp, so it's obviously not a, it wasn't a planned one. So this one's called the Joker, right? You can ride backwards as well. It's an extra $30. Yeah, $30 to be in the back row, which is backwards. But Nadine didn't want to go on it. No, I think that might, might do me in. It's only got one loop. That oh, it's got two. It's got two and that's it's a corkscrew. Cork yeah. That was quite good. So yeah, we're going to go back. Maybe it's swim. I think we're going to go for a swim. Have a swim, then we'll probably go to one of the. Oh, yeah, the Burley. Uh, maybe back to Burley Heads to the. What's it called? Beach Surf Club. Surf Club. Um, um, some early. I know we're on this line. Is that us? Is that us there? Yeah, I think it's us. And then we are going to maybe do either mini parts or the casino. We'll see. So we're in Broad Beach at the Surf Club, Karawa. Karawa, Karawa Surf Club. We're just going to have a drink and just a little bite to eat. <laughs> Haven't eaten since 8 o'clock. Yeah, that, that lamb yeah. thing at um, the market this morning at 8, 8.30, whatever it was. We haven't had anything to eat since, so yeah. nothing, eh? No, just drinking. Nothing. Drinking nothing to eat. soda. We had a frozen Coke and some soda in that at the theme park. So we were going to come here for dinner. So we fancy you. Yeah, we were going to come here for dinner, but it's quite we expensive. Thought it was going to be like, whenever I've gone to surf club before, it's been cheap. This was sort of $33, $34 for, you know, pretty standard yeah. sort of burger yeah. or... And if you're a member, I think it was $4 or $3 cheaper. Yeah, so but as visitor pricing there, it was 30 plus bucks. And for, yeah. I would imagine it would be pretty average. But it's really nice inside. There's some TVs up there. So the plan is to maybe just, yeah, have a drink and maybe we'll head to the casino after this. Yeah. Casino. Hopefully we can walk from here. We both we spotted a park that we got. I think we, well we can't walk from here because we're in Broad Beach. I think it'll only be yeah. it might be like ten minutes that way. That's alright. We've done a lot of walking, so it shouldn't be anything. We're not too sure about the parking. It said it was four p, four p whatever that means, and then it was nine to five. So we're coming up to it's four thirty six. So I'm not sure if that means. Surely no one has to leave. Well, everyone lives. I don't think that's even the thing that you get kicked out of. A pretty nice view here, eh? It is really nice. Yeah, and there's a festival going on, of oh, course, yeah. down there somewhere. That's a festival. People everywhere. I don't know what the festival is, but everything under the sun seems to be happening this yeah, weekend. Got the bass going, crank right up. Where are we? Bit of spring rolls, a bit of sauce, a bit of greens. Give them a go. Right now, they'll be hot. Right. Are they? Okay. Oh, yes. Yep. I broke one. Okay. We'll dig Thank in. You. So, we've just come from the surf club. And we've walked all the way down to the, the casino, the star. Yeah, well, we weren't sure if we'd get a park. They say every single car park was full, so we didn't want to risk giving up our parking spot. <laughs> no. This before we decided to cut it, was it 15 minutes, 20 minutes? Yeah, about 15 minutes. 
hopefully get some food here, we'll withdraw some money, have a little go. Have a little dabble, see what happens. Yeah, hopefully we can win our dinner. Yeah, well, or our parking ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good, like I said, we're not sure what the parking situation was, so we're just hoping for the best. Mm. There's a pool up there. Oh, yeah, like a, is that an infinity pool? Or? No, it's not an infinity pool, it's a glass edge pool. Alright, should we make our way? Make our way and win the big bucks. Yep. Alright, so like the sophisticated people we are, we've come to the casino eatery and got a carvery. I would say an average carvery, how's yours? Below average. <laughs> Below average carvery. Went a bit stingy on the old gravy. Yeah, it was stingy on the gravy. So I got a beef. Jaden went for a pork. I left out the pork crackling. Yeah, he, he went for the pork specifically up. for the crackling and they didn't give it to him so he's gone up back up for a chunk of it. How is it though? Below average? Yeah, <laughs> I mean it was cheapish, which is good, $18 each or something, so. But it was one price. Yeah, the surf club would have been one price, so I mean, it's not too bad. I'm going to eat some veggies, I suppose, but but I'm I'm going to get a gelato after this as payment for. It's not my fault. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying I want to get some goodness back with the gelato. There's one on the way back to the car. He's stoked. <laughs> well, I better get back to this delicious carvery. I'm gonna just take my ice cream. Finally got my gelato on day four or five, whatever day it is, five I think. So we have a hokey pokey. But it's quite it's got looks like it's got like caramel flavoured ice cream, chocolate flavoured ice cream, caramel sauce, chocolate chunks. It's got like oh, it's, it's different from hokey pokey but it's good. And I just tried a pita colada or sorbet in there as well, which was I didn't find this sweet at all, I found it almost a little bit like bitter. I like the pina colada soda that we had in Sydney better. Yeah, nice. After gelato, we've come to mini putt putt. It's quite cool golf course. It's got three different courses. It's got water, fun run, and jungle trail. We've come on jungle trail because it is the least busy. But if you pay one game, I think it was $19 an adult. If you paid two, it was 23 an adult and if you paid three it was 26 dollars an adult and you can actually spread them across whenever day so if you're here for a week you could you know just use them on different days throughout the week so that's pretty cool so we got a two game because we'll probably do one tonight and then maybe one tomorrow night after dinner and they're open till 10 p.m so we've started on jungle because it was the least busy because <laughs> it's still very busy even though it's eight o'clock at night so go on then start us off on hole one looks like it's a nice easy one to start there's no animals or anything just this little Oh. Parakeet cheering you on. Oh, he's gone heavy. He's gone heavy. Oh, just stayed at the back then. No movement. Nadine's turn. What's she going to do? Can't figure out the grip. But <laughs> oh, jeez. Ooh. Ball bouncer. It tickled it. That's steep. So we may not video most of this because there's a few people behind us. Nadine's already gone. There goes Jaden in the zebra zone. So we probably won't show you much on every, much of every hole because we've got people behind us. But you get the gist. You get the gist. Oh, where are you? Oh, you're right behind the knob. No idea. Go on. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just try some. Oh god. Oh, interesting method. Oh, not bad though. Not bad. Right. Finish yep. Finish her off. Beauty. The unthinkable's happened, and I got a hole in one, and Jane got a six. <laughs> Thank you, giraffe. You've been very kind to me. I'm on the catch up now. Huh? Yes. Well, how close is it now? 
I'm in the lead. The guy asked us when we got the things, he's like, who's going to win? I was like, it's always Jane. So if I can sneak this win, I don't know if you just let me win that. Sit on the, the chair. What chair? Oh yeah, there's a Game of Thrones chair for the winner. We, but I think that's going to have to, is it made of putters of it? It's going to have to be the winner of the two games, not the one. Anyway, let's see if I can continue this winning streak. Oh, we had a close shot there on a hole in one. It ricocheted out and it's gone back there. Let's see if you can finish it off. He's going to finish it off. Slaughter in. Lovely. Oh no! We just did the tallies and it came down to a single point. So Jaden got 58 and I got 59. <gasps> Winner. It was that last hole. I got six and he got a four. Last hole. There's a couple that I did that, but so there's only one point in it. So we've got another game tomorrow. Yeah, what one are we gonna do? Well, if you choose between the waterways or fun run, both are good. Water, well, the water one, I think it's quite good. Yeah, probably the water one, but we'll have to see tomorrow night, and then you know maybe I can catch up because we'll we'll combine the scores together. So we actually drove along what was yesterday and this past weekend. Racetrack for the Gold Coast 500. They're just taking it apart now. They're putting it, taking it off some stands, I guess, because these are the stands that are still erected that they've got to take down. But yeah, this is the, the track. It's speeding along it in his Hyundai. So we've come down to Southport. So this is just a couple of minutes past SeaWorld. Nice walkway here. I think it might have been a dog park close by. It's lovely. Nice big pathway across that goes on inside the beach. And there's no sand on this part, it's all rocks, but it's really nice. Made it to SeaWorld with everyone else. Yeah. Much we pull At least we've got data this time. We managed to work it out so we can see the wait times. And we get a virtual yeah, fast pass virtual or something. Queue, yeah. One, so we'll be able to go on one ride. One ride guaranteed. So. Yeah. But at least, we'll see At least there's other, other stuff to do yeah. here. Yeah, so we'll see you on the other side. Made it in, didn't take too long actually, no. did it? No, not at all. Two minutes, I think. Yeah. So we're just gonna walk our way down here, see, see what's we'll open. See. Yeah. Yeah. So there's three new, those big. It's three new rides. Three new rides, but they're not open yet. They're gonna get open sort of in the end December. Of the year. Yeah.
refreshing. We are both very wet. We rode the storm coaster twice. Yeah, it was really good, eh? Yeah. Nice short queue. It was once. a short queue. Once it got going, it was a short queue. Yeah. And it's, we got very it's wet. It's a cool ride. Yeah. No, it's a good ride. It's, it's, short, it's over very quickly, but it's good. The we other ride that we wanted. Are soaked. <laughs> oh, I am soaked too, but you just can't really see it. But the other ride that we wanted to go on the jet skis yeah. looks like it's closed, so whether they'll open it up later or if it's closed for the day, there are people milling around there, so I'm not sure. You want to look at the polar bears and stuff? Yes, yeah, so you want to see the sharks, the polar bears, the jellyfish. So there's still plenty to do before we go hit the shops. them on their sides gently. They come up. This one here likes Jane he's come up and said hello to him quite a few times. There you go. <laughs> it's so it is slimy. Hello! Got on the jet coaster, finally opened up, and just as we were about to leave, we sort of opened, so we came back and rode it. It was good, it's a launch sort of coaster. It's quite intense, though, isn't it? It's over there. Here they come. This is like very twisty and very, very quick. Yeah, it's good fun. This is the kids' area, bikini bottoms, it's got a little a little coaster here and then it's got some other sort of little fun rides some little boating schools with sort of spongebob themed bikini like bottom really it does feel like that but they've got those three ones that you can see in the background there they're coming this summer so hopefully that will sort of you know add a bit more around this way But we've just come to Pacific Fair to go to Outback Steakhouse. It is absolutely massive again. Multi level, all different sections, all different types of shops from designer to Uniqlo and HM. It's sort of got everything. Yeah, it's very pretty. Sort of went through a major refurbishment sort of five plus years ago. But it's it's really nice. We've been on the hunt for this Outback Steakhouse for a little while. So I said it's for, oh, I think it's down this way. Maybe the Boulevard. He says it's by Zara and Colchings. So yeah, everything again, it seems to be closing up pretty sharp on 5.30. We're just to get home. There's a few people around. But I guess it's because like 
targets and Kmart's and the food places and stuff will stay open because the stores close at 5.30 so maybe it's over here yeah I reckon it might be that because that would make sense yeah we've been wanting a steak so hopefully we were just saying earlier that the food that we've had so far has been pretty average so we're hoping for a nice steak tonight fingers crossed so here we are at Outback Steakhouse we both went for the what did we go ribeye gingerbread ribeye I went for the loaded mashed potato and Caesar salad and Jaden went for the same but he got chips and we both got lemonades which we have almost demolished but I had blueberry no blackberry blackberry and you had pomegranate I'm, like I'm not sure there will be but you can ask and try your best we did get the bread because there wasn't any bread and Jay's like oh they didn't do bread like they do in the states but they did bring it out with our dinner so if he has his free refills he would be set Come back to Putt Putt, the second night in a row for round two, so we've decided to go on the waterways. <laughs> this is recommended the best for night time. So. Yeah, we're not going to film much. No, we won't film much because we filmed quite a lot on the last one, but. And we're pretty full as well, so we yeah, might be really, a bit slow. <laughs> really full from our back to the so we'll um, do this, but it's one point, so James is one point ahead at the stage, so. Mm. So here he is on the throne, which only means one thing. Champion. He is the champion. I started off beautifully. I was getting holes in ones all over the place. It was, it was, and then turned into a shambles on the latter half. And James ran away with it. Yeah. Do you know what you are? Consistent. Consistently average. Whereas I'm all, all or nothing type of gal. But congratulations. Congratulations, sir, on your victory. Well deserved. Bit of a rainy day today. It's meant to rain pretty much all morning until maybe three, four o'clock this afternoon. Oh look, there's a little lizard down on the rock in the pool. Just having a little chill in the pool area. In the rain. Yeah, we've, um, we're leaving today. We're leaving the Gold Coast today to head to Brisbane. And we were supposed to be going to the cricket tonight. The World Cup, England versus New Zealand. But hopefully they can keep the pitch dry enough for tonight. The game isn't, our game's not meant to start until 6 pm. So hopefully. So we're just going to try and make a plan. I'm not sure really what there is to do while it's raining. We don't want to leave too early because there's traffic going into Brisbane for sort of, you know, the work commute. So we'll figure something out, maybe try for something on the way. I hear Logan's quite a nice town, so maybe we'll go there or I don't know. We'll find out. But the Gold Coast has been lovely and to be fair, the weather has been very good apart from today. But just fingers crossed, it'll pass before six o'clock tonight and it's all dry enough for the cricket because that was part of James' birthday present for his 30th so really want to do that and then we need good weather for the next few days after that as well because then we're going to Tangaluma and that's just like a beach resort and it's all outside activities swimming, kayaking, quad biking, snorkeling, all of that so if it's not good weather I don't know what we'll be doing I have my new t-shirt <laughs> I got it from oh my god it's got Uniqlo had some fun t-shirts and stuff for cheap so I guess we'll just get in the car and see where we'll go. Surprisingly this is our first step on sand. <gasps> Here I am, boom. So what is it, day? This is it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Day six. And we've come when it's raining. But at least it's not busy. 
but it has stopped raining for now so we just thought we'd come down have a little look on the beach a little wander and then pancakes on the rocks i think is the plan for some breakfast but it's still not cold maybe 25 degrees 23 and normally if it's a nice day this beach is absolutely packed so that's quite nice